Hi, this is Margaret from Margaret's Crafts. I wanted to share with you my knitting and crocheting for the past month. I don't have any sewing to show you this month uh, because I've been doing a lot of work in my craft room, getting it all reorganized with some new shelves that my husband had um, got me for Mother's Day. And I want to start off with my finished objects. And what I have is the... Um, Uh, the uh, men's scuff slippers felted by Monique Ray and the yarn that I use is the patent classic wool in red and black. I use a US 11 or a um, 8.0 millimeters. Uh, last month I had one shoe finished and the other one I just had the sole of the other one done. Uh, this month they are both completed and they've been felted. And they came out really nice. I'll show you with this one. They're all stuffed because I didn't want them to get squished. These are Christmas presents. I started my Christmas presents. I'm not going to be in, like last year, I think I started in October trying to get everybody's stuff made for Christmas. I started early this year. I had a couple things finished. So this is, that's the, the black and the soul. Uh, they've already been felted. I had my husband try them on because my son's feet is about the same length, but they're a little wider, so they're a little bit big on my husband. And I just altered the pattern just a little bit, and what I did was uh, when I'm casting on, changing to my color red, or when you're picking up for around the bottom of the uh, shoe, you have to knit one roll around. Well, I knit two full rows around instead of just the one. And... Um, just to bring the back up a little bit higher in the back. Because my husband said he liked the way it, it hugged the back of his foot when I did it his. So that's one set down. And then I have my April socks that I finished. And these are The Vanilla Latte Socks by Virginia Rose Jeans. And the Peyton's Croy Sock in Rusty Stripes. I used a US 1.5 or 2.5 millimeters. Last month when I showed them to you, I just had the down to the toes done. And I have them both completed and they've been blocked. These are nice and warm. I just did a ribbing of about an inch and a half, and then I did another two and a half inches to do a total of four inches until I started the cup. I did the Fish Lips Kiss Heel, and then down the foot, and then my regular toe increases. And I think I matched them up pretty matchy-matchy on this one. As I showed you before, I had to tear back so far down on the second seam to get them to fit. And my last finished object for the past month has been another pair of socks. And these were made out of that yarn that I showed you I had bought last month, the DK weight yarn that I had picked up a Tuesday morning. And... Um, these are called the Quick and Easy Rib Socks by Ursi, E-R-S-S-I-E. And the yarn was the Universal Yarn Infusion Hand Prints in the uh, Sweet Robot for the uh, sock. And then the heels and the toes, the purple for the heels and toes, are the Haiku yarn. And I picked that up at uh, my local yarn shop here. And... I just did the same thing. I did about an inch of ribbing, and then I did the three inches until I started the heel. I used the Fish Lips Kiss heel, because I know that heel without even looking at it now, and then did my regular toe increases down to, I like to do mine down to 14 on each needle.
and it gives more of a rounded toe that I like. So these are all done and I did the purple heel because all throughout the socks there is that same color purple that's I don't, know, I don't think it's showing up. In person it shows up. It's right in, like right in here. It's purple all through there. Well that's why I had picked the purple. If I wanted, you know, I had a, no, this is only one of this one. But I wanted to do, show my thoughts. I wanted to show the purple, to bring out the purple in the socks. And those are my three finished items for last month. Now, what I've been working on the past month, are this is one of the bags that I showed you last month that I had made. And I have another pair of slippers in here. These are for uh, another son. And I have one slipper done. Remember, these have to be belted down, but these are, I even added more because he has an extra wide and long foot. He wears a 15, 60. So I had, I added extra when I did the rows. I think I picked, I uh, added two more stitches in from the beginning. And then I did, um, I think I did a couple rows longer and I did the same thing when I changed it to the blue instead of you're supposed to do the one roll around I started two rows around to get it to be a little bit deeper in the heel so I have one shoe done and I'm almost I'm doing the heel decreases in the other the other sock I mean the other slipper and then I'll be able to I'll probably finish that today and pick up the uh, the light blue and these are the same as before these are the uh, men's stuff slippers felted in the Monique Ray by Monique Ray and they're done in uh, Peyton's classic wool in the navy and new denim in a size US 11 so next month you'll see these felted, completed and felted. My next item are my May socks and it's in another one of my bags. And I have one completed. These are the Business Casual by Tannis L Lavalie on um, with uh, the yarn is the Lions Brand Stock East Prints in Rock Candy and I used a US size 2 or 2.75 millimeters and I did the same thing inch and a half of uh, ribbing two and a half inches until I started the cuff That'll give us a four inch leg. And then did the fish lips kiss heel. And then the pattern repeats on the front. And these are another Christmas present to one of my sons and I have one down and I'm a little ways away I have another half pattern repeat and I'll be starting the toe decrease the same thing with the fish lips kiss heel that's my favorite heel so far and um, and this will be done, this will be done by the end of the week. I'll just
This will be done before the, the end of the month. And my last item that I'm working on is my Basket Weave Diamond Throw by Bonnie Baker. Uh, and it is made out of Red Heart with Love yarn and Water Lily and Lettuce. And I'm using a size I and a J hook. And see, this is where I was the last time. I was just, I hadn't, I just was beginning the, um, the cable. So I have, I have the first section, then the next section, and then the, this section here, with the cable section, and then I'm starting now into the um, lattice area. And it's a free pattern you can go pick up. And you have to do like three rows of single crochet and then go back over and do your lattice. And then three rows of single crochet and then the other half of a lattice. So I got one roll of the lattice done. I did the three rows of a single crochet. And I'm coming along doing the second. The second lattice repeat there. Well, that's what I have done so far. It's a pretty good size. It's going to be a throw blanket for my husband. Hopefully I'll have it done for Christmas. I'm hoping for a Christmas present for him. And I'm using just the uh, water lily on the, the section that you do this little rid, ridge section right there. I'm using the water lily. Other words, I'm, otherwise, I'm just using the lettuce. And it's just to break it up a little bit. You can see on the back. This is a. This is going to be a really thick blanket because you're repeating over your other stitches so many times that it's working out. It's a nice, heavy little blanket. So that's all I've been working on. Now, for my goodies that I've purchased this month, or uh, I had went to Walmart. I mean, I went to Michaels to see if they had anything, and they had just this one little skein of uh, Peyton's Croy sock and the um, rusty stripes, the same that I had made that other my my May April socks out of. So whatever's left over, I'm going to put it with this and probably make my husband a pair of socks. But then I'm going to do probably the gray. I think there's some gray in here. Or maybe I'll get some green. And do the, uh, the ribbing, the heels, and the toes to make it so that there'll be enough to um, do, his, uh, do a pair of socks for him with that. And it was on clearance for $1.99. That's the only reason why I bought it. Then I went to Joann's. And I picked up four more skeins of yarn. And this time in the green. This is for uh, slippers for my husband. I Having those gray ones. Those were like my first ones. My experimental ones. And then his favorite color is green and purple. So I have to do the the sole. I'm doing it in, well, the yarn I got is Peyton's Classic Wool Worsted. Uh, it's 100% uh, wool. Helps up wonderfully. And this one is Moss Heather. So I got two skeins of those. And then for the top of the shoe, I got the forest color. It's all tonal greens and some dark browns and some tan. So that's his shoes. Then with all of that yarn that I picked up at Tuesday morning uh, last month, I, I'm going to do the heels and the toes 
like I showed you, I did that first one in that purple. And I'm going to do these in the heels and the toes. And these are the Sim Simplicity by Haiku. And I got these at my local yarn shop. And it's 55% merino superwash, 28% acrylic, and 17% nylon. And it's 107 meters or 50 grain skein. And I have two blacks and one gray. The color of the black is 002 and the gray is 038. And I'm going to do the heels to go with those. And my last yarny that I have, I picked up, um, I got my yarn box socks, and they come in a tube. And the, the yarn that I got was, it's by Celestial Strings, and it is, the yarn is the, it's the Celestial Strings Company. The yarn is the Shafel Shuffle Sock, and it is the colorway is Horsehead Nebbia, and it's 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon. And it's pinks and burgundies and dark burgundies and grays and um, like an off white and plum. And I can't wait to see how that knits up for a pair of socks. I think for all these new socks, because I have that sock club of the month, uh, so then all of my new socks, I threw a couple of them, my new yarn, so I'm getting ready for my 2016 sock club of the month. So far I'm doing good. I've done, I kept up with April, May, June, July, no, January, February, March, April, and my May, I should finish that in the month of May. Plus, I did an extra pair. So, I did six pairs of socks so far uh, for 2015. And the only thing else I want to share, just a little sneak peek. These are the shelves that my husband got me for um, Mother's Day. We don't have a Ikea here in town. So we went to Walmart because I saw these shelves and I kind of liked them. I kept saying I was going to get them and never did. So he went and got them. Uh, the two different shelves we have. Uh, the two different shelves. He got me the four cube shelf, which is this one, and the three cube shelf. And they are a nice wide. Uh, they're big enough, 12 by 12. Uh, system going there. And what I have the... 4x4 four four one on is some of my shelves that I had over here before, my storage shelves. They, they're like, they were closet organizers in white because I had my room done in all white with my scrapbooking stuff. So I just put them on the bottom below this one, and they have shelves, and they have baskets in those areas that I have like my wool in, and I have another basket that has my, um, my sock weight yarn scraps that I didn't, um, I, I haven't rolled up yet and got them all measured out and rolled up. So those are stored. Plus some other miscellaneous things are stored down in those ones. And then I have all my yarn separated in the four, uh, the seven cubes that I have. And these ones, like I have, I've, I got two of the baskets. I bought two baskets to go with them. And the one basket is like I'm keeping all of my 100% wool stored in those baskets. And usually I, I have them just standing up. I have them standing up in the drawer like that so I can look down and see the top and then the extras are just sitting on top. But for now, those can go like that. Those are in there. Then the next one on the bottom is one I don't use that often. It's the, the acrylic yarn that I use to make my toys with. The baby weight acrylic yarn is what I like to make my toys with. And those are stored in the bottom. And then I have uh, my DK weight and um, yeah, my DK weight and then these ones get these are a little bit 
they feel like they're a light worsted, so I put those with them because those go with them. Those are what I'm storing with those because those are the, the heels that are going to be with those. And then I have over here, I have my sock, my better sock yarn is in there. And then I have more socks over there, but up above, I have the cubicles uh, that I had picked up at Target, and they were in white, too. They're, I think they're either shoe organizers or desk organizers, and I bought some spray paint, and I just spray paint them. And I have more of my sock yarn in there, just like um, most of the uh, Peyton's Croy and the... Um, um, my Peyton's Croy and my, uh, some other that I'll get at, at Joanne's, the, uh, ha, um, uh, most of my Peyton's Croy and my other ones are in those cubicles up there and even in the, I had little baskets go with them. I have some more in those little baskets and so but along with a few other decorations, I have them in there. And, okay, and then also I have some hooks. And also I have some hooks hooked up here. Uh, I have one hooked over here in between where I have my, um, I have, uh, like my sock, my one sock locker, which isn't supposed to be here. I have a spot for all my sock lockers. But I have, uh, I found these little clips to clip on, and then they have a little loop on them. I found them at a, a store called Marks that we have here. And for those shoe patterns that we make, and then I told you I was making the, um, the plastic ones to, when I'm making a sock, it goes down in, in my, it can roll up and go down in the bag with it. And I keep those together. Uh, one for everybody set that they, I have here just hangs right there and I have my uh, socks my my foot patterns for me and my husband and my two sons the other ones I have two hooks here and one hook over here so when I'm not working on a project you know I'll have it in my bag and it can be the loop bag or whatever bag I want and then I just hook them right there they look like they're they're wooden or metal hooks, but they're plastic with the sticky on the back of them. I picked them up at a local store here called again called Marks, and they were two for fifty nine cents. And so I just hang my socks, or I just hang my bags onto those areas right there. I have one here, one there, and one over here that I hook. Uh, usually I hook my socks onto that one because it's smaller. And then I have that one hooked onto here, and then my uh, my bag that I have my blanket in, because it's just the blanket and the yarn that I'm using right now. The other yarn is still stored with the yarns. Yeah, because like here is my worsted weight yarns I have in here, and uh, I just hang those on the side. And because usually I don't go into these baskets that often, once I take the yarn out, and so I can just leave them hang there, and they're not in the way. And I can't see this over here. This is something I also picked up at a store. It's the same store we have here called Marks. And this is a little dress form. And uh, it had little hooks. I think it was a hat rack or something, a coat rack, or to hang something on. So what I did was I have it hooked on my china cabinet here. I have just a little hook there and then I took one of these little zip ties and made like a little hook to hook it on with. And I have all of my bags for my sock club of the month hanging on there. So I could just reach up when it's time and grab another bag. And I want to spray paint this thing white since I'm changing things in my room. And I'm going to spray paint it uh, pink to match uh, the pink and white and green that I have pink and green now that I'm going for in this room to go with the brown. And 
her, and that just hangs right there behind my, my chair, and it's out of the way, and all of my bags are hanging there, so I can just pick a bag, and I have, these are the bags that I have left for my sock club for this month. You can find me here, you can find me as Margaret Crafts on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and on Ravelry. And I also blog at margaret-ilovecrafting.blogspot.com, all lowercase letters, where I usually have my show notes. I am behind, but I will try to get them all caught up. And so I wanted to thank you for watching my videos and following me. Remember, if you enjoyed my video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Bye-bye.